Now y'all, if you have kids that play Roblox, you're gonna wanna watch this video. So on October 17th, a Gulf Coast Kids House, which is an organization that helps kids of child abuse, contacted police in Escambia. Now they told police that they had a situation that took place where a 10 year old had dropped a two month old on a hard kitchen floor. So after this situation happened, the two month old did sustain very severe injuries, including a skull fracture. But when police talked to this 10 year old, they learned some very shocking details in this case. This 10 year old told police that she was on the gaming platform Roblox when she started talking to this person. So we now know this person to be 36 year old Tara Sykes. Now Tara Sykes is a wife and she's a mother, but this 10 year old is saying that Tara told her to unalive the baby that was in their home. Not only did she tell her to unalive the baby, she gave her different methods on how to do it. So this 10 year old following the commands from this person on Roblox who we know now to be Tara, went in the kitchen and dropped the baby on the floor. Now y'all, as if this story isn't already messed up, Tara also messaged this 10 year old on how to unalive her foster parents. She told her that after she unalived the parents, she needed to set the house on fire. Once police tracked Tara down and knew that she was the one sending the messages over Roblox, they arrested her and charged her with child abuse and would attempt to unalive it. So police are not seeing the connection between Tara and that 10 year old, but they do believe Tara might've known that 10 year old before all of this took place. So y'all, as if this situation isn't already messed up, police say that this is Tara's second time being arrested this year. So police arrested Tara and her husband after their 14 year old daughter was impregnated by their 20 year old friend. So they're saying that the couple knew that their daughter was impregnated by this friend and they never reported it. And when police caught on to this, the 14 year old was already 31 weeks pregnant. So instead of reporting that somebody had gotten your underage daughter pregnant, they ended up threatening this 20 year old and saying, if you don't pay us $10,000, we're going to have you unalived. Y'all, this case is completely sick. So although police are pursuing attempted unaliving charges when it comes to Tara, y'all, they say that they might try to get charges pressed on a 10 year old as well. They're saying that the injuries on that two month old baby were so severe, they feel like they need to press charges against the 10 year old. But that 10 year old is saying, look, I really didn't know what I was doing. I was just doing whatever Tara told me to do. The 10 year old also said she was afraid for her life because she feared if she didn't do what Tara told her, Tara would unalive her too. Now y'all, I really want y'all thoughts on this case. It's very evident that Tara and her husband, they're both monsters. For them to allow a 20 year old friend to even be with their 14 year old daughter and they didn't report it. For them to hide the pregnancy for 31 weeks before trying to threaten this man and ask for $10,000 down to her even being on Roblox talking to little bitty kids trying to get them to commit murder. Do you feel like police should still press charges against that 10 year old? Or do you believe that that 10 year old needs counseling and needs help? Now y'all, my kids, they play Roblox. There are millions of kids that play Roblox every day. You have to make sure you're talking to your kids about the dangers of strangers being on these accounts. Because a lot of times they portray their self as the same age as your kids, but in reality, they're predators or grown people. Now, comment below and let me know your thoughts on this strange case.